now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Whoremongers will have no place in the kingdom of God. And the reason why whoremongers will have no place in the kingdom of God has to do with what the Apostle Paul talked about in the Corinthians in chapter 6 as related to fornication. Now, when it comes down to the whoremonger, the main reason why he will have no part in the kingdom of God has to do with the God that he serves. And your whoremonger does not serve the living God, the Most High. No, the whoremonger serves at the altar of the vagina. And because he sees women from the waist down, he winds up corrupting them from the neck up. And because he places the woman's vagina as a god in front of the living God, your whoremonger violates the first commandment of the living God in the Old Testament where he said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me by placing the woman's vagina as a god before him. And he violates the first commandment that Jesus gave as related to loving the Lord with all the, your heart, soul, and your spirit. And because your whoremonger violates those first two commandments, he is a very corrupt individual. Now, your whoremonger, when he's out here, he does damage to women because he does not see a woman as a helpmeet or a support to him in God's natural order. No, he only sees a woman as somebody there to provide for his sexual pleasure and he only thinks about his sexual pleasure as the main priority. Your whoremonger has no interest in being a responsible steward under God's natural order. Your whoremonger only wants to get sexual pleasure, and his primary focus in life is sexual pleasure. So he has no interest in doing God's work on earth or in heaven, and this is the main reason why your whoremonger will not be allowed into the kingdom of God. Because your whoremonger is not interested in doing God's work or being a responsible steward. No, your whoremonger, all he wants to do is live a lewd, lascivious life. And he wants to go out here and spend his time in riotous living. So your whoremonger is someone who is not interested in being a part of God's natural order. All he's interested in is getting his sexual pleasure. And when he goes out to get this so-called sexual pleasure, what he does is he winds up damaging the lives of others around him. Because God made sex to be a part of marriage, and he meant for men and women to come together sexually so that they could cleave to each other. Because in the Word of God, it clearly states that when a man and a woman marry and the two become one, the man and the woman will leave their families, their mothers and fathers, and cleave together. That is so that they can form their own family under God's natural order, and so that they can be under the authority of the living God. But it's not possible for a man and a woman to come together when a man or a woman lies with a whore or a whoremonger, because when the two become one, one is not committed to being a part of God's natural order. And your whoremonger is not committed to being a part of God's natural order. All he wants to do is use women for his sexual pleasure, and then after he uses the woman 
for his sexual pleasure. He then walks away from his responsibilities as a steward under God's natural order, leaving the woman's body to be violated by him. So this man, when he's out here and he has sex with that woman, what he does is he leaves her and instead of them coming together under God, the woman is left alone. So instead of the two becoming one, what happens is you wind up with a person who is incomplete. And this person is incomplete because the person who they were supposed to bond with winds up separating from them. And that separation is what separates that person from being a part of God's natural order. And what this man does when he does this is he participates in the sin of fornication because he takes the sexual act out of God's natural order. And what he does is he makes it into a perverted act where the man winds up going out here and having sex for only his personal pleasure, but not towards being a part of God's natural order where a man becomes a husband and a steward to the living God and committed to doing the work of the living God and doing things like being a father to the children and a husband responsible for the care of the wife. So instead of him looking to be a husband, this man, once he, dis once he has sex with the woman, discards the woman, and this damages the woman as related to her being a part of anything. Because when this woman becomes one with that man, this DNA she has fr comes from him, and that creates a barrier that prevents her from being able to connect with any other man who would have wanted to be her husband. So she winds up not being able to connect with any other man or bond with any other man, due to the sexual relations she had with him. And this winds up doing damage to the woman. And it also winds up doing damage to the whoremonger. Now, your whoremonger, his whole fixation on women is not based on love. No, your whoremonger's primary fixation on women is based on lust. And his lust is based on the look of a woman. It's all about him getting with the most attractive woman as related to popularity with other men. And the main reason why your whoremonger wants to go out here and get involved, excuse me, with women is primarily because he wants that vagina. But the reason why he wants that vagina has nothing to do with any sort of relationship with the woman. It's all about him getting the attention of other men and other more popular people. So your whoremonger main reason for pursuing women is all about him getting these notches in his belt so that he can have social currency to trade with other men. And what he wants to do is be able to say, he could have sex with all of these women in order to be popular with other men and other people. So he's not looking to have a relationship where he bonds with a woman. No, he's not looking to build a relationship with a woman. He's not looking to build a family with a woman. No, your whoremonger primarily sees a woman as a object that he can use, and once he's finished using that person, he then discards that person, never once thinking about their feelings, never th once thinking about their what they want out of the relationship. Once he gets his sexual conquest, he goes on his way and looks to pursue a relationship with another woman, but the main reason why he's pursuing that relationship with that other woman is because all he wants out of that woman is another notch in his belt and more social currency so that he can trade stories with other men, 
to say that he is some sort of popular and some sort of cool, all because he has gone out here and had all of these women, but he has never had any sort of relationship with those women. And that damages those women because it makes it where no other man can go out here and have a relationship with those women, because what he does when those two become one and he separates is that winds up with that man's DNA bonded to that woman, which creates a barrier between that man and any other man going out here and having a full, intimate relationship with that woman. So these men damage women, and they also damage women spiritually because our bodies are supposed to be temples of the Holy Spirit, and they are supposed to be members of Christ. And when you have a man out here as a whoremonger, what he does is he defiles the temple of the Holy Spirit, and he dirties the body that's supposed to be a part of Christ. So this man, he does major damage to women when he's out here, and he perverts the sexual act which is designed to bring man and woman together mentally, emotionally, and spiritually under the order of the living God. And what he does is, by him perverting the sexual act, separate the man and the woman from the living God by his sexual perversion. And that's the main reason why your whoremonger won't be a part of the kingdom of God, is because your whoremonger, his lust for sex, winds up doing damage to people, women, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and it winds up preventing women from getting close under God's natural order. Because if we look at God's natural order, it is the Most High God, who is the creator of the universe, Jesus, the Son of God, who rules over the earth, and then man. And when you have your man, who is a whoremonger, worshiping at the altar of the vagina, and the woman who is supposed to serve him, that is a complete disruption of God's natural order. When you have a man worshiping at the woman from the waist down, which is already a violation, again, of the first commandment and the commandment that God gave as related to the fulfillment of the law, it shows how this man has no love for the living God who created all. And this man shows his contempt for the living God by making this woman into, into, into a, her vagina into a God. And what he does is he corrupts the women with the lies that he tells. And because you're a whoremonger, in order to get sex from the women out here, oftentimes you're a whoremonger. Again, he starts all of his reasons and mis intentions for relationships, not because he wants to build a relationship with the woman, build a marriage with the woman, or build a family with the woman. No, your whoremonger's main goal is getting sex from the woman, smashing and dashing, being on his way. And what that does, again, is it's him lying to get with the woman and not looking to build anything as a man or take responsibility as a steward. Now, your whoremonger is a man, as I see it, who is in crisis, and the main reason why he is in crisis is because many of the whoremongers out here, they are, sec they ha they are out here looking for sex, and they're looking for sex, and they, don't, they, don't, they only want sex again because they want that social currency with other men. Because the sexual act is supposed to be something that is intimate, something that is private, and something that's supposed to be between that man and that woman. But your whoremonger, because he wants social currency, he makes the sexual act all about impressing other men, and that's something that really perverts, again, the sexual relationship between your man and your woman. And your whoremonger is someone 
who is deeply troubled. And again, I see him as a man in crisis. And in today's modern society, we have a culture that is based on the whoremonger because Madison Avenue and Hollywood have promoted this idea of a man going out here and having many sexual partners as a social norm, but this is not the way God made sex to be. But your whoremonger is someone who has bought into these ideas that have been promoted as social norms, and sadly many males have been miseducated by these narratives created by Madison Avenue and Hollywood to believe that having many sexual partners is the social norm, and they have bought into these satanic ideas and they don't understand they're being taken down the road to being whoremongers and then wondering why all of their relationships fail. And the reason why their relationships all fail is because they have been made to believe that having sex is the thing that defines their manhood, but having sex through fornication is not the thing that makes you a man. In fact, what it does is it makes you further away from God, the Most High, who made you a man, and what it does is it disconnects you from getting closer to the living God unless you repent of your sin. Because men who go out here and buy into the Madison Avenue Hollywood concept of, forn of having sex defining their manhood head down the road to fornication, and when they head down the road to fornication, what they do is head down the road to becoming a whoremonger. And whoremongers usually wind up very unfulfilled because with each person that they have sex with, they wind up becoming further and further distant from those people because, again, the two become one, and those two become one mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And what happens with your whoremonger is he winds up becoming disconnected from his own penis with each woman he has sex with. And that's why he's always out here looking for more women to have sex with because he wants that vagina, but he doesn't understand that when he goes in there, he's disconnected from his own penis and he cannot connect with that woman and he can't connect with any woman because he winds up becoming disconnected from himself spiritually and he winds up becoming disconnected emotionally. And whenever somebody tries to get close to a whoremonger, what happens in many cases is he winds up running away from those women because he does not know how to deal with his emotions and he does not want to get close to anyone because in many cases, many of your whoremongers, they have real serious mommy issues in some cases and many of them have become hurt. And because they have hurt, they don't want to deal with those emotions as related to the pain that they're having. So they look to try to find a way to reconcile this. Unfortunately, your whoremonger can't reconcile these things because he's looking for sex based on this whole idea of getting women as threaded to so-called game and not looking to connect with a woman based on love under God's natural order. And because he's not looking for love under God's natural order, he winds up getting caught up in his lust, and that lust winds up making his whole situation worse because with each woman he lies with, he gets further and further disconnected from his own penis, and he never gets close to anyone even though he goes out here and sleeps with multiple women. It doesn't matter how many women he sleeps with, he winds up still being alone. And the reason why he winds up being alone is because he does not, he's not able to connect with that woman mentally, spiritually, and emotionally and bond with her. And he cannot bond with her because he doesn't have, he, he doesn't have any sort of of love for that woman. He has no love for anyone. He only lusts after women's bodies so that he can have social currency with other men. And it's that whole quest to try to find attention and approval from others that winds up destroying him. Because God made the sexual act, again, only for the man and the woman, and he made it to be about the man and the woman. He did not mean for it to be 
something that a man and a woman go out here and do to get brownie points with other people. Sexual relations between men and women are supposed to be private and intimate, and that it was not meant to be something used to get brownie points with other people. But your whoremonger, all he wants to do is go out here and get with as many women as possible, and he wants to, again, be this braggart who gets all of these points for being with those women. But when he does that, he winds up headed down a very dangerous road because in order to get more attention, he escalates his behavior, and that's what leads many of your whoremongers down the road to sexual deviancy because in order to get more of that high from the sexual acts this man participates in, he goes out here and he has to escalate his behavior. And this is why your whoremonger, after a while of having sex with numerous women, will escalate his behavior into deviant behaviors like your anal and your BDSM and many other sexual acts that are extremely deviant, like the sodomy. This man will escalate his behavior because he's looking for more of a high. And the, when he goes for more of a high, he perverts his behavior more and twists the sexual act and, and further violates God's law. So your whoremonger is a very deeply sick and depraved man. And this sick and depraved man, he just doesn't understand that his lust for sex is the thing that is destroying him and it is the thing keeping him from the most important relationship of all, the relationship with the Most High. Because when this man puts vagina ahead of the Most High, he destroys God's natural order. And when you go willfully and intentionally do not become a part of God's natural order, what happens is, is that you have no place in God. And this is the main reason why the whoremonger will have no place in the kingdom of God. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, and my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to learn more about why men like whoremongers are dysfunctional, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.